Everyone to Family Gaming Aficionado, Muris here. A month ago, I hosted a challenge of clip submissions where the best clip will win a skin. It's been a month and we have eight submissions. Basically, I'll rate these clips based on performance and overall skill and pick the best one to win. If you like this video and you want me to kind of turn it into a series, just let me know in the comments and I'll host more of these. Let's start with the very first one. Every clip here is tops 30, 40 seconds. Okay, one kill. Good aim. I saw that cut there. I'm assuming that it was to keep it short. But okay. I really love the old 1.6 quick scope meta which is still very very much alive in cs2 that one's a great shot the one in long also very good reaction time this one is decent they seem to push him one by one kind of strange but a very good clip okay let's move on to the next one let's see it 20 seconds okay okay nice flick don't push him. Okay. A, a bit of a whiff there. 3 HP. Ah, almost. Almost. Let's move on to the next. Okay. Nice. Nice. Very nice one taps. Good. Okay. Cross replacement. Very good. Spray control. Very good. Okay. That was a very, very nice clip. That was an ace. It doesn't spray without controlling it. He tries to one tap when he can, especially over long distances. Yeah. That's a very good clip. I don't want to rate these three just yet because we have eight of these clips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch all eight. Next clip. Let's see. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. Yes. The skill is 100% there. Too much luck. <laughs> okay. The first guy completely whiffed him. The last guy, my God. The first one, perfect cross replacement, good headshot. Second one as well, boom. This one should have killed him. He missed. And this one needs to uninstall the game. But nice reaction time, straight to the head. Very, very good clip. These two especially showcase a lot of cross replacement, reaction time, map awareness. Uh, very, very good. Five seconds. What can you show in five seconds? Let's see. Double kill, maybe? Perhaps. Okay, whiff. No scope, nice. That is a good no scope. Okay. You whiffed there, but you recovered. You, you lowered your head, so to minimize the headshot potential, which is very, very good. It shows that you know what you're doing. But compared to the other clips, I think it's too short or too lacking, but it's, it's a very, very nice clip. Let's see, 19 seconds, okay. It, nice, the one tap. Nice. Okay. Okay, regardless of him dying, this is something that I've been trying to do a long, long time ago, which is trigger discipline. Because if I miss my first shot, I don't know if that happens to any of you. Usually when I say, okay, let's try to one tap. If I miss the two first bullets, I spray. And that's a really bad habit, but he seems under control. Crossword placement, pristine. He knows his angles. The first one, damn, that that is clean. That headshot, boom, right to the head. Another one, kind of missed there, but still, you see, he's, he's still tapping until he gave up, so he kind of spray control. But that is extremely, extremely skilled. Okay, 23 seconds. Okay, so it's from a demo, that's fine. Okay, nice. 
What? Okay, so he saw him. Okay. It took me a second. I was like, did he see him or did he just submit a cheating clip? Nice knife. Nice. Midair. Whiffed. Whiffed. Ah, oh, very, very close. Could have been a much better clip if you hit that, that shot. This one. You had it. Almost. But a very, very good clip. Okay, the last one. Okay, flashing mid. Okay. What? What rank is this? What? Was he FK? Is this? Okay, so yeah, there are a lot of kills. It seems like half of them are either AFK, not playing, or just completely oblivious to what's happening. He's not playing. <laughs> this one is blind and deaf. I think there was one here, FK. These three are completely oblivious to what's happening. Like, I'm not taking away from the guy's performance. I'm just saying the enemies you've encountered, they're not playing seriously. This is a good clip. But comparing to a competitive scenario where you're against people who are focusing, tryharding at your own skill level, probably their performance is more valuable, especially if they have like a good cross replacement, if they're really, really trying. This specific clip submission event was skill based. So if I were to do like most skill clip or funniest clip event, which I will do if you if you guys want to, so the criteria will be different, but specifically for this event, I believe that this clip falls a bit short compared to the others. This one, sadly, I'll have to mark as X. That's the first elimination. The five second one is a good clip, but again, compared to the other scenarios in the other clips, they showcase a much more skill based performance. So I'll eliminate this one as well. This one, the one that kind of confused me at first. In terms of op skills alone, I believe that this has a bit more awareness than this one. This one is a good... I, I don't know if he saw his shoulder or not. I'm going to I'm gonna give him the benefit that he predicted he's going to push again. I believe that the first one showcase, uh, showcases a bit more skill. These two are very, very high skilled players. In terms of, again, not saying like 25, 30,000 ELO. No, I'm just saying compared to other clips and course of placement, awareness, positioning. These are higher skilled players. This one is a good op clip. I just don't see how it can compare to these two clips. So based on that, I'm going to eliminate this one and this one. Okay, so now we have three clips left, right? One, two, three. And those are the three I marked as potentially winners. So let me see these three again. Flash, let me. Okay. Okay. That's a good one tap. Nice. Then it pushes. Right. This one is a very, very good clip. Let me compare it to this one. I should also take into account the amount of luck that you had to have when recording this clip. Because if I remember correctly, this clip is, is a very good positioning at first and cross replacement. This one is luck and this one is horrendous. Like good reaction time on you, on your part. I love the response time and the immediate placement and switching to the pistol instead of hiding and reloading because that seems to be an instinct of a lot of players. He saw where he was and then just one taps to the head. Very, very good. But I believe that this clip has a bit more skill involved with the cross placement, with the trigger discipline, not starting spraying movement. Now let's see the third one, this one. It's kind of lucky that you didn't get pushed from Palace because usually they push together, but that's fine. This one is amazing shot. And he died there. Okay. I think this one, this clip will go to the finals for sure. Based on the fact that this clip required more luck from your opponents to miss you in order for you to produce that clip. I'll mark that down as a no. 
So now I need to choose between two clips, Boba Fett and, sorry if I butcher your name, Micknick, Michnick, whatever it is, sorry. It all boils down to crossover placement, positioning, and map awareness. But positioning yourself in very common spots will get you killed. Not knowing where the head level uh, from different angles will get you killed most likely. So based on these facts, if they're positioning themselves well and they're aiming at the right spots, they bound to get like good kills like this one. You probably knew he was CT and the bomb is already planted. So it's their turn to push. Just two taps. And too long. I don't know what he was doing. Okay, so this one compared to this one. Right, no audio. I keep forgetting. Okay. Boom. I mean, regarding confidence, for, for instance, he probably didn't know the last guy was underground. But I love the confidence, although it backfired because the other guy came behind you. I believe that the opportunities, the placement and the situation are more difficult to perform and hit those shots. For instance, if I need to explain myself or I was, I'm not clear enough, they're long, right? So he gets off the car, aims at the head level, gets one. Then he sees him. From here onto the end of the clip, all he needs to do is either push or hold, but he knows exactly where that person is, right? He pushes with the flash, doesn't get it. Gets him. The other one is car, doesn't see him at first. And this one is a great shot. But here, he pushes, like, he doesn't have any information. He sees him as he pushes out, and he one taps. Checks palace, goes to mid. He has info that someone is very, very close to him, but he chooses to pick over there first. Maybe he got information that someone stopped mid or whatever, but he doesn't know where the person is and he one taps and then he knows goes exactly to where he saw that question mark before and one taps him again. And then this one is not even a whiff out of they're playing pickaboo with one another and he got him and this one came from the back. So there's nothing to it. I think this clip presents more skill and map awareness than this one. So Boba Fett, that was close close call very good clip but mitch congratulations i picked your clip and your prize will be ak-47 asimov will test it with four paper stickers congratulations i'll dm you on discord if you guys enjoyed this video or this little contest and you want me to do more of these maybe a different type of clips let me know in the comments thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please consider liking and subscribing and as always play smart invest smarter this is boonies signing off